They're coming, y'all. They're coming. They like that. They like we need to be the bug eye buffoon. We don't want you showing up like Malcolm, who's serious, who's like, okay, where's our reparations? Where's our money? So they don't want you showing up like Dr. Claude Anderson, who's saying, okay, I've got documented evidence of all the things that you've done to us, and these are the, the things that you should compensate us for, and this is what we demand in order for us to get our vote. They don't want that. They want the clown. They want the ditty. They want you dancing. All right? That, that's what they lay like there, right? That's, that, to me, that's the master's uh, for the black man, and to keep him as a child, to keep him as an infant, to not ever graduate from boyhood to manhood, uh, they, I think there should be rites of passage for boys, by the way. There's no rites of passage. So you have a lot of 45-year-old children out here uh, that are that are in prominent positions, which makes them very, very dangerous because many of them have 30, 40 million people following them on Instagram. I think the master's plan for the black woman is um, the mul multi there's a multitude of plans Mass has for the black woman. But one of the biggest ones I've noticed, and my wife has pointed this out a lot, is they kind of want the black woman to be seen as a hoe. They, they really have worked extremely hard. If you pay attention to the music, uh, there is not a variety anymore. There used to be a variety where you had you had the raunchy and then you had the classy. Uh, you had the Anita Baker and the Sade. And then you also had, you know, some of the stuff that was a little racy, a little Kim or whatever. Now it's just all Cardi, Megan, all this other stuff. It's literally uh, every time you turn on Shade Room, nine times out of ten, when you turn on Shade Room, you see a black woman there. Uh, she's usually shaking her, her booty. Right. And uh, and this is a really t a serious issue, in my opinion, because this fits into those stereotypes of the black woman. My wife has done a full lecture. I, I'll find it. I'll send it to you guys. But she's done a full training on the major stereotypes of black women that have historically been held and, and what they do uh, to the lives, lives of black women, even to this day. Uh, she mentioned the mammy stereotype, which is like uh, the big Aunt Jemima, you know, like a asexual, big, big black woman that all the white people love. Uh, there is the uh, Jezebel stereotype. I think that's like the Megan the Stallion, like, you know, you're a big hole. You just want, you'll just you sleep anybody for money. Uh, and then there was um, uh, the angry black woman, just kind of angry. And, 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 you know, you're, you're strong. You're very masculine. Uh, you, you don't deserve to be nurtured or protected. Uh, and even your men, a lot of your men don't feel that you deserve to be protected. They, they will attack black women as quickly as anyone else. And uh, or, or abandon them and just say, oh, well, well my baby mama, they, they'll, they'll take care of the kids because that's what my mama did. And uh, and so all these images in, in terms of masses plan and the, the image of black women that's being marketed. And you can't really uh, it's hard to debate with me on this just because uh, because you don't see white women who are as famous as Megan Thee Stallion, who are um who are doing the same sorts of things that megan is doing you you have white women that try to do it but they don't become as popular and, and uh, there is no white version of a cardi b in terms of a woman that's that famous who is uh who's out here doing the same sort of thing so so there are other plans for you massa has a plan for you and i don't think massa's plan is good for, is one that's going to lead you to manifest the life that you want to actually have massa's plan is a plan for you to pretty much stay where you're supposed to be. <laughs> you know, wh wherever you were a hundred years ago, that's where they want you now. And uh, and if you don't fight against that, then you're not going to ever succeed. So so let's circle back and, and on our final point. Um, in terms of economic elevation, we have to understand what it means to manifest, what it means for our team to actually be able to win. And I think manifest requires uh, just circling back on what we talked about today. Manifesting means focus. Right. And so I'm, I'm going to focus. I'm going to focus on what matters, not focus on what haters say. I'm not going to focus on what the enemy has to say. I'm going to focus on what uh, God is telling me to, to do and to create in, in, in my life so I can make sure that our children go into the world safe and protected. Right. Because we leave our children unprotected. When we break up the family, the child is, is going to be harmed. When we are leaving them economically vulnerable, the child gets harmed because the child basically gets sold into slavery. And the only way they won't be sold into slavery is if you stop it. If you don't stop it, then it's going to happen. Your child will be working for a white man. And that's exactly what the, the, the intention has always been. Dr. Claude Anderson talks about how after slavery, 98.5% of all black people work for a white person. He said 200 years later, 98.5% of all black people work for a white person. How the hell do you think that that happened without somebody designing that as the, as, as the expectation? Do you think all that happened coincidentally? It didn't happen coincidentally. That's by design. So again, Massa has a plan for you. So, so, so that's that's it. That's that's my point for today. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down. Uh, but I encourage you to really think about these things and to to really understand and think about your economics in terms of remember what it means to graduate. You know, you graduate from being a renter to an owner, from a worker to a boss, 
a consumer to a producer. And the really best thing you could do for your children is to teach them to think on that level, to vibrate on that frequency at an early age, to elevate their consciousness, financial consciousness. That's why we're here every morning uh, to a level where they're already thinking as a consumer or as a producer and as an owner and as an investor at an early age. And they don't have to sort of be pulled out of the basement to go to wherever they're supposed to be. That's how you have power in America. The power is available to us. I know that white people don't like you very much. I get that. Racism is very, very real. But at the end of the day, I don't think it's going to ever stop you if you're truly determined to make a difference in your own life. So stop talking to me about what the white man is doing. I need to know what you are doing. Stop talking to me about what he's doing to try to stop me. Of course, he's going to try to stop me because my goal is to be the biggest, baddest, scariest Negro he's ever seen in his life. I'm going to look him in the face and I'm going to say, I'm here to compete with you. I'm not here to bow to you. I'm not here to make you laugh. I'm not here to be your entertainment. Oh, I'm, 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 in fact, if you keep messing around, you're going to end up working for me. How about that, boy? Seriously, I don't, I don't dislike white folks. I don't, I'm not, this is not meant to be uh, disparaging toward anybody. But at the end of the day, I'm not I'm I'm not here to be your boy. I'm a grown man. I have graduated and I plan to go to the next level, whatever that is. And I'm and when I figure out what the next level is, that message will come from a higher power, higher than you, because you are not my God. We are not here to be somebody's Negro. I want you to win. OK, so so go ahead and win. Let's, let's fight for what we deserve. All right, everybody, let's get out of here. Um, uh, Quick reminders. Number one, the Q&A for uh, options income starts in about 45 minutes. So if you still, uh, here's the link, if you, if you still would like to join, uh, you can still sign up now. There's a big discount on the recording from the train, the live training we did the other day, uh, and we're going to do a follow-up Q&A, but if you still want to get access to the live recording, or li here, here it is right there, and uh, it's yours for life. You can have, you can share it with your family. Uh, it's about 50 bucks, so feel free to take a look at that. Number two, uh, if you enjoy these morning sessions and, and you want to come back live, make sure you're on the text list. Text the word MORNING to 87948. Uh, if you text morning to 87948, I'll send you a reminder just like I did this morning uh, to come into class. And then uh, third, if you want to get a recording of all of the previous trainings that we've done, uh, then uh, that's actually available at drboycedaily.com. So drboycedaily.com, uh, it makes you a premium member in this class where you can have access to literally everything that we've done up until this point. And uh, you can share, again, share that with your family, stuff like that. And uh, that's pretty much it. So have a good day, everybody. I will see you all. If I don't see you in the uh, Q&A today, I'll see you at the, in, uh, 